share with you my favorite products for September. I do have one flop this month. It's kind of a flop but not completely but I still wanted to talk about it. It's kind of a, a weird situation that doesn't happen often for me. But I'm going to jump right into my favorites first. So the first product I'm going to talk about is by Colourpop and it's their no filter concealers. I picked these up uh, about a month ago and I got them in, let's see, beige which is 25 and light which is 20. I actually got them in three colors. I got the light neutral as well but it's way too light for me right now so I'm not able to try that one out but I have been using these two. Beige is more of a peachy color and light is more on the warm or yellow toned. I've been using them together. I do really like these. I think they're great affordable concealers. I'm not going to get too much in depth because I am working on a review but I would say that they're not as good as the Tarte Shape Tape, but they are better coverage than most of the other concealers I've tried. Uh, drugstore wise, they're only 5 or $6, so I think they are great and you will hear more about that in my review. So those are the first things that I've been loving this month. The next product is also by Colourpop and it was a freebie. I think they hit 5 million so they had a bunch of free products with purchase and the one that I picked up is the Super Shock Shadow and Party of Five. I'm also going to review this as well but I just wanted to mention it because it's such a pretty shade. It doesn't do it justice in the pan. So it's like a purpley mauve color and it has glitter in it that's like a blue shift. It's super pretty on the eyes. It is really glittery which I don't normally like but I just think it's such a stunning color. Once again this is the Super Shock Shadow in Party of Five. It's really um, a, like I said a freebie and it stinks because they said they won't be selling these but I really think they should sell this color because it's amazing. Next is another Colourpop product. I did order a bunch of stuff that's why most of this stuff is Colourpop because this is the newest stuff I've tried this month. This is their new Colourpop Brow Boss in light brown. I also own their Precision Brow so it was interesting to try this brow product out compared to the other. There are things I like more about this than the other. Uh, the other product is a bit more pigmented but it's also more creamy which I don't like as much. I do love the pigmentation of the Precision Brow but I like the formula of this product better, the Brow Boss. It's not as, it's more of a, like a waxy than creamy which I think works better for brows. It's not as pigmented which is why I think it, they talk about how this is a more natural brow because it's definitely not as pigmented as the Precision Brow but it's fine for me for like more of a natural brow during the weekdays. Uh, it still gives you a, brow, a bold brow if that's what you're looking for. I just feel like I need more product to work up to the, the boldness of it but I like the formula as I mentioned better than the super creamy Precision Brow formula. Um, it does have a spoolie on one end like the other and the um, product on the other end and it's twist up which is great. It's um, not as thin but not super thick. It's just not as thin as the Precision Brow. I haven't tried the other colors so I don't know how the other colors are pigmentation wise but this light brown just doesn't seem like it's as pigmented as the Dope Taupe that I use in the other formula like I said. Uh, but other than that I really do like it. I like the look it creates. I prefer a more bold brow like going out and stuff but this works perfectly fine during the weekdays. I like how my brows look. Once again this is the Colourpop Brow Boss in Light Brown. The next product is the NYX Love Out Loud Liquid Lipstick in Brilliant. I received this and a bunch of the others from NYX uh, just to test out and this is my favorite shade that I got. It's more of an mauvey brown nude color. I can link below my review as well as the video that I have lip swatches. It's just a really pretty color. Everyone that knows me or follows my blog knows that I prefer a more nude lip. This, uh, The Love Out Loud Liquid Lipsticks come in a bunch of other more bold colors but this is more my speed. 
Uh, the other colors are really pretty. This is just something I can I see myself being able to wear, you know, on a regular basis. The formula of these are really, really nice. I'm liking them a lot. And I really hope they come out with more shades in the nude range for this formula. Once again, this is the NYX Love Out Loud Liquid Lipstick in Brilliant. The last item I was loving this month is from Primark, and it's this crossbody bag. It was $7, and I've been using it non-stop when I'm going out. It's a great size. It has a little zipper in the back so you can add your cash or credit cards or stuff that you want to keep separate. And it's just a really convenient cute little bag. It has an adjustable strap and for $7 I just thought this was great. I plan to take this with me to New York so I don't have a huge bulky bag. And it's just a really cute bag. They have a lot of really cute and inexpensive bags at Primark so if you have one in the area I definitely suggest checking it out. So the last item is kind of a flop, but kind of not. So that's why um, I wanted to talk about it. I wanted to hear other people's opinion if they've tried it. Uh, it's the Becca Velvet Blurring Primer Perfecting Base. I received this from Influencer for testing and review purposes. I was really excited to try it out and I've been using it for about a week and a half now. And there are things I like about it, but things I don't like about it. I do feel like it does give your skin a velvety smooth feel. It feels really nice on the skin and I do, and I do think it helps make your give your foundation a smooth coverage. However, I don't feel like it blurs my pores as much as it claims that it should. Um, I really don't see a huge difference in the size of my pores, especially in my T-zone where my pores are largest. I don't think it does a great job like at filling in my pores. It does make my skin look really pretty in porcelain, but it does not make my pores go away, especially like I said in my T-zone, which is very disappointing to me. There are certain primers that I feel like do a great job at that, like the Smashbox one, um, I forget the name of it, Smashbox, Smashbox Photo Finish maybe, and the other one is an e.l.f primer it's like one of the the mineral primers or something however they're both silicone based and silicone based primers they just don't work for my skin I feel like they make my skin more greasy and oily maybe that's not the case but that's just how I feel like they do like I also feel like my skin gets irritated from silicone primers and sometimes I'll get like red bumps on my face after using them so even though I work really well at filling in pores they don't work for my skin so I'm really hoping that this did exactly as those did which is filling in pores but as I mentioned it's not a great product for me so this does make your skin feel velvety smooth and have a nice finish in terms of smoothness but it does not fill in my pores at least I am really on the fence on if I like it or not like I said my makeup looks nice it does hold up throughout the day but I'm not seeing my pores blurred by this so those are my feelings on this primer, like I don't love it but I don't hate it, I just wish it did more as what it, of what it claims. So those are all my favorites and flops this month. If you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns, post it down below. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And until next time, thanks guys, bye!